Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to AP World History Modern. Uh, thanks for coming to check it out. I'm Miss Horn. I teach uh, AP World at Butler. This is my second year teaching AP World, uh, and I absolutely love it. Just a little bit about myself. Uh, in, for my undergraduate degree, I studied history and international relations. My history degree focused mainly on world history. So I really do absolutely love this content. In AP World, we get to have a lot of fun uh, and do a lot of interesting things in this class. So what is AP World History Modern? Well, the modern part comes from the fact that we learn and discuss events <clears throat> that take place from about 1200 CE to the present day. So we do cover a lot of material in this course, but we do look at a variety of sources to like get you thinking a little bit more critically and also analytically. So we analyze a lot of primary and secondary sources. Uh, we make a lot of different connections uh, throughout time. So something that happens in the 1200s actually may affect us to this day, and we get to talk about that. Uh, and we do also craft historical argument, which sounds probably a little boring, but I can tell you it's kind of fun. So some of the concepts and themes that we do explore in AP World, uh, we look at how humans interact the environment with the environment, how humans have changed the environment and the landscape and, you know, that whole idea of impact as humans that we've had on the world around us. We also look at cultural developments and how each culture interacts with the world and how the world came to be the way that it is today uh, through, through those different and various cultures. We look at governance. Uh, so how government has changed over time, how it stayed the same, and we look at kind of the, the glows and grows, you know, what has improved and what still needs to improve. We also look at the variety of economic systems um, in this class dating back to, you know, the Middle Ages, so then we explore the changes there, and again, also the glows and the grows. We look at social interactions and how every society is organized. Uh, and we, we talk and we compare uh, and we explore just how social interactions have changed, how our perceptions have changed, and still, you know, how we need to continue to evolve and grow uh, when it comes to interacting with different societies and cultures. And then lastly is technology and innovation. This one is a big piece because it is something that has really changed um, a lot and drastically. Even in the last you know, 20, 30 years, technology has changed our lives as humans. And so we look at the impact of changes in technology since the 1200s, and we get to discuss all of that. So who should take AP World History? Well, I have a few thoughts and opinions. Anybody and everybody can take AP World and be successful. Um, the most successful students will love learning and discussing a variety of cultures, changes in the world over time, and how it's all relevant to us today. Uh, you do need to be a little bit of a self-motivated, organized, I uh, am like writing just a little bit. Um, there is a lot of writing with AP World, unfortunately. The AP exam has four different sections uh, spread over two parts, and three of those four sections are all written responses. So we do have quite a bit of writing. Uh, you also should like a good challenge and in being intellectually stimulated. Uh, one of the things that I pride myself on with my students is I do challenge you to think a little bit outside of the box. Uh, I want you to question, uh, even question me. Uh, I don't know everything. There's just way too much to know. So we can both learn together if you're willing to question and kind of go down that rabbit hole, uh, kind of like Alice in Wonderland did. 
And then also, you just really want a good boost in your GPA. Uh, AP does have that benefit of, you know, giving a slight boost in your GPA. Uh, and it also provides that little bit of challenge. Um, successful AP students prove, you know, it is proven that you will, you are a little bit more prepared for college uh, going straight from high school to a four-year university. Uh, so, you know, that also helps too. So why should you take AP? Well, I really love talking about the nitty gritty side of history and politics and human interaction. So you'll get the full story with me. Um, I don't really back down from questions and from topics that you are interested in. So if there's something that you really want to know, ask it. Uh, my classroom is a safe space and it's open to all ideas, all opinions and all different perspectives. So we really do learn about the good stuff, as I like to call it. We learn about all different sides of history and human interaction, which creates for some really amazing discussions, uh, which also leads to learning about how the world became the way it is in today's history, or in today's time, rather. You also, you know, have a general interest in history. I'm not the teacher that's going to make you learn all these, these dates. If you can ballpark it in a century, we're golden. Uh, and then last, you just like learning. You want to learn more and explore topics that you may have been interested in in regular world history uh, and want to explore them deeper and just know more and have fun while doing it. Talk to any of my students and they say that the best part about our class are the discussions because I really push my students to to want to know more and to really think beyond their own little bubble. So something that you should know is that AP is a lot of work and that's because our AP exam for AP World uh, is a beast. You have 55 multiple choice questions. You answer three of four short answer questions. You're given a document-based question that you have to write an essay for, and then you choose one of two long essay questions to answer. So we do a fair amount of writing in this class. If you would like to know more, please feel free to contact me. Uh, it's keisha1.horn at cms.k12.nc.us, or you can go to the College Board website and read more about world history. Uh, thank you all for your interest, and I look forward to meeting you in the future.